about one year ago, there was a guy named HGSS1994 who decided to do a Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. He had really crappy equipment. He had a Nintendo DS Lite that was first a Game Boy Advance. And then he had a really crappy camera. He had a Torchic named Fireball and two other teammates, which we're not going to spoil. Ha 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 ha. So, <clears throat> back to the story. He had a grand old time doing the walkthrough, despite getting a lot less views every single time. Sad face. Well, not really. And then one day, July of 2010, so I know, <laughs> he, did, he got a laptop. He wondered if he could install the program that allowed him to record his Emerald walkthrough on his laptop. But the laptop simply refused to put it on. So the emulator days went on, playing Fire Red, Pokemon Black and White, and even some unknown games in which I do not even know. And as those days come by, he still wondered about Pokemon Emerald, and if he should return them. One day, he decided to do it, and today is the day. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the return of Pokemon Emerald. Okay, not doing that again. I'm gonna note that to myself. Anyways, welcome to a returning series of Pokemon Emerald. And for those of you who don't know, um, I did this really long time ago with an, a, uh... Hold on, let me see, check, change the options to fast so that we were not uh, dealing with that. But anyways, yeah. As I said before, wait, well... It's on fast? Yeah, it is on fast. Alright, just want to make sure. But, <laughs> I, I kind of like how I'm going up a little bit. But, um, back when I started this channel, I did a Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. <laughs> it, it was really bad quality because I first started on a, a Game Boy Advance. If you guys were stuck around here for a really long time, you probably know what I mean. <laughs> it was really, really bad. And I, and I keep thinking to myself, man, what was I doing back then? But yeah. So this is the Return of Pokemon Emerald. I had, um, after the emulators, I had feelings for doing this again. I gotta say, I'm really glad I'm doing this um, again. So we are a boy, unless you want me to be May. And right now, all of you should know my name. And for those of you who don't know, um, uh, the game will spell out for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, E. That is my name, Blake. For those of you who actually just joined my channel, I don't know for who, through WWF and Rocky, through uh, some random dude, through Mean and Mass Murder, I don't know who is, who brought you here, and if you're new here, I gotta say welcome, if you're just a uh, new per person who is just recently watching this, I gotta say uh, welcome to this uh, <laughs> new fuck the I'm getting off topic, again. And again, what am I not getting going on the same topic. So anyways, we hear from the moving truck, and we just leap out like an awesome pro. Here's my mom. We're home, honey. Oh, well, this is Lullaby Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint, quaint feel. My mom doesn't know words, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room. Woohoo! I have my own room already, and yet I'm going out to college. Too. Oh, speaking of which, um... By the time this is posted, I should be in school, so what I plan to do is upload during the weekends, because I'm going to be my senior in my school, and stuff like that, so... I will probably, or I could, I'll be recording, like, during, um, times that I'm not really busy during school, but I'll be uploading during the weekend. Oh, we're supposed to set the clock. I don't care, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Like, I give a crap about what time it is in the Pokemon world. Whatever it is is in where I live is where it is somewhere else. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, come quickly. Look, it's Bill Maybe Darth Vader will be on. 
Oh my god. Get it, Darth Vader. Before other thing. Uh, I'm just making bad puns that I'm only gonna laugh at. Um, so yeah, anyways, what we're supposed to be doing is we're supposed to go right around here. And yeah, before I move on, I like to, you know, after the Pokemon Black lacks and stuff, I gotta say, I'm kinda glad it's over with, cause I don't think a GB would lag, but there's so many dang lags and freezes in the realm, kinda glad I gave up. Oh, is this an item? And normally in Ruby and Sapphire, she's on the computer, and look, she's got an orange GameCube. You wanna trade? Oh, you're Blake, so you move to Um, I'm May, glad to meet you. I... I had this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. <laughs> I, she sounds like Annie Carrots already. I'm sorry that I fitted you, Annie Carrots. I did not mean to. <laughs> she, normally she runs off, but she's on the computer. It's an Nintendo GameCube. Yeah. I thought she was playing Pokemon Coliseum. That looks like a GameCube controller. Wow, I'm getting off, really, but... After talking to her, what you want to do is come up here. I'm giving you the information. Normally, it's a guy in here, but instead, it's a little girl. So many things change to this Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, and he runs. That is actually the first time you see him run. Uh, you won't you won't see him run until later on. And the premise of Birch, I don't know. This is stupid. <laughs> he gives him you get him chased by a zigzag to the I wanted to talk to the zigzag. So anyways. Uh, we got Mudkip, which is the Mudfish Pokemon, famous internet meme, Trico, the Wild Gecko Pokemon, and Torchic. And since this is a rerun of a game I've done pretty much, uh, like, early on in my channel, I'm gonna n normally have you guys, like, going, Oh, which, what, what's my starter gonna be? You guys decide for me. But, uh, this isn't the case, because I've done this a little bit earlier, again, on the Game Boy Advance, and then moving on to the DS Lite. Wow, how did I live that? But yeah, anyway, so I did start up with Torchic, and that is why I'm picking Torchic for the game. Because it's a rerun. Woo! I was in the tall grass setting love Pokemon when it jumped. Thanks, you saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Blake. Well, let's not place a chat, so come on to my lab later, okay? And my lady means right now. <laughs> so he gives you the Torchic. Or whatever Pokemon you received. And I remember in my game, I gave it the n nickname of uh, Fireball, so that's what I'm gonna be naming it. Okay, F I R E. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, this is gonna be like Sesame Street where <laughs> I spell every letter to you guys. <laughs> oh my god, no, no. I would never torch you like this. Yeah, good idea to see me. We're gonna be doing that uh, in this episode as well, since we got plenty, plenty, plenty of time. Uh, Do we get the running shoes? Dang it, I thought we got the running shoes. Oh well. But uh, we don't have any repels, and we here we are in Route 101. Oh, speaking of our new Pokemon, um, there should be some uh, new. I'm kind of sending you know, you know how there are normally sidebars. Well, I decided to do like kind of like a sidebar, um, as you'll see right now. It kind of has the teammates on the bottom and the batches on the right side. I don't know how we're going to do the batches accomplishments and stuff like that. Probably do like little check marks. But uh, you guys will see, actually, and you will like it, no matter what. <clears throat> this guy will give you to the Pokemarts, and he gives you a potion. Speaking of which, yeah, the computer also had a potion. I Speaking of computers, I am kind of disappointed that um, they don't give you um, any items. They don't allow you to store items or pick up any items in here. Oh my god, a wild Pokemon battle! Well, hopefully we don't counter any more! And then again, I better shut up before I get into another one! Oh wow! Dude, how am I getting this lucky? Sugar Clarmor, every time he says, Yeah, we're gonna hope you don't encounter a wild Pokemon, he encounters a wild Pokemon, so. This is me, she's talking about Rattle 3. Speaking of which, Rattle 3 has some Gucci and Six Seconds, Worm Pulse is a group wild one, and then Wingles, which is kind of unique. And then we are going to battle her, so this should be kind of fun. So, anyways, um, yeah, whatever you start out with, I start out with a Torchic. She's gonna have Mudkip, you have a Mudkip, Trico, and Trico, uh, Torchic, so. I probably should have growled. Like that? Oh, great. <laughs> uh, that's, that's gonna do a lot. Oh, luckily I do have potion stuff, so I don't have to worry about- Oh my god, I did a lot! Dude! 
Oh shoot, I don't want to lose the first battle, so I gotta use the potion immediately. Okay, there we go. Play some growl. Okay, good, I didn't growl. I should probably growl so that we were even. I know my strategies. <laughs> I'm a pro. What else? Alrighty, so yeah, I didn't get in time to go. Okay, keep on tackling me like I care. Dude, even though I use a super potion, I mean, <laughs> super potion, a potion, and I growl them, it's still doing like three damage. I guess it's really not that bad amount of damage. And oh, two levels! Where are you at, May? Where are you at? Oh, and let's focus energy. Oh, yeah, for the reason of that, I actually encountered Wild Puchiana and decided to battle that. That's why I grew two levels. And there we go, that completes our first trainer battle. Time to head back. Yeah, it is time to head back, actually. So, I'm gonna be using magical editing teleporting things to teleport us back to Little Root Town. I lied! We're here in Old Dale Town, but we need to talk to me. Oh, over here! Let's hurry home! I was a little late on that, wasn't I? No, duh. No, duh. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, it was a little late. That sounded kind of wrong, and then no, duh. But we're supposedly heading back into the lab. And talking to Professor Birch. Oh, hi, Blake. <coughs> I gotta breathe a little bit. Excuse me. I heard you meet me my fr on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. As an exist, has an extensive history as a trainer. Here, Blake, order this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. How come May doesn't get a Pokedex? Oh, wait. She's the first assistant of a professor. That's why she doesn't get a Pokedex. She has a professor to inform about the Pokemon. Okay, and May gives you Pokeballs. I believe it's five of them, if I'm correct. I'm not sure really, but could be five. I don't know. Alrighty, so here we are back in Little Group Town after Magical Teleporting's failures. And we're supposed to talk to her mom here. Blake, Blake, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it for Professor Birch all dice! <laughs> Like your father's child, all right? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey. If we're going out with Adventure, wear these running shoes. Yes, we do obtain the running shoes. Uh, if you press B, you could actually run. In Harko Soul Silver, I remember you touch it and you permanently run. I wish that I could actually appear in a remake of Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, but I'm getting way ahead of myself. So we're gonna head up this old route. Hopefully, we don't count any wild Pokemon. Please, I'm begging you. Darn it! Alrighty, so here we are in Odale Town. In the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, we will be taking on the new route. What's it called again? Route 102. No, duh. Alrighty, so, going towards the Pokemon Center, and I will see you guys then.